Well, changing gears again, I got the spider here, and I got transmission parts. So I was working on the 63, but that's just parked there for now. I decided to put the pump in the transmission, and I had to do a few modifications to it because my buddy came by and he offered to uh, put the tranny in this weekend. And I'm going to be away in New Hampshire, which of course you're going to see this video by the time I'm already back because I'm so far behind. But um, he can't do it because, yeah, my transmission rebuilder. Oh boy. This is the pump cover, and look at that bushing. It's junk. The torque converter rides right in that bushing, and it's worn out garbage. Yep, so I don't have a new one. I don't know why. I should have gotten a new one went through all my seals and I've got this pushing which is similar but not the right one too bad and I just texted Spike Punk to see if we use that selective washer because I found the thrust washer brand new thrust washer I don't recall what we did. And the TCC regulator valve spring is still in the bag. I'm sure we discussed that. I just don't recall what the determination was. So, I've got to grind away the stator support right there. Grind that away. I've got the second design pressure valve. Boost valve, bushing, wide land, self clean design. I gotta put the springs back. White, purple, washer, bushing, and valve. Kit includes a highly improved boost valve and bushing. So, there it is right there. There is the new boost valve and bushing. Tear this open with my 34 minutes. No, nope, three minutes left. Well, I'll open it up, and I've only got three minutes of memory left on a brand new 8 gigabyte chip. So I'll play around with this, and I'll be right back. Hmm. All right, I got my slot drilled as specified right there. Yep. Not easy to drill that, but I got it mangled right there. And now I put the PR valve in, second design. And now I'm putting in the white spring. Drop that in. And the other spring is somewhere. Nope. Purple spring. And I put in the new bushing and valve and the washer and no spacer because they don't have a stem. And uh, clean everything up thoroughly and put it back together. There's the old bushing and here is the new one with smaller holes in the plastic bag. Listening to a repeat of Wait Wait Don't Tell Me. All right, I wish uh, Spike Punk was here to help me with this. Oh well, do what we gotta do. All right, last thing I had to do here is drill the hole behind the seal. Let the oil, oops. Yeah, it's definitely a two-handed job. Guess I better wash this out. Don't you like the tailgate model Suburban? Sure beats the barn doors. Yeah, drill the hole 930 seconds so I can drain the oil behind the seal, not to blow the seal out. I gotta change that bushing, so. I guess we're done, like usual. It's 1030 at night. Prevent seal blowout. Enlarge this hole to 930 seconds, right there. And draw these Stator support, all done. The paper, as soon as it Got my bolts for the servo cover. Got the servo in place. So Almost done. Wasn't as if there was some Almost done. Well, oh, nothing ever goes easy. <laughs> 
to get the cover, the servo cover on for reverse, when you put it in reverse, this piston goes pshht, and it pushes a pin which squeezes a band against the drum. Oh uh, yeah. Welcome to my neighborhood at 11 o'clock at night. Yep. 10.50. So I had to loosen up all the valve body bolts, every single one, to get the valve body to lift up a bit so I could stick the cover underneath this edge. And then I had to take the servo off. It's the 1, 2 or the 2, 3 servo, I forget, to get my wrench socket ratchet in there and tighten that reverse servo cover down. That thread there is stripped, so we'll see if they take the torque whatever the specification is in my book which is over here all right complicated job we'll get her done all right I'm all closed up for tonight it's uh, 1120 it's enough for L80 e gotta put the tranny oil pan on and get a new Torque converter. Wish you could. Heartbeat. Oh.